All right, guys, today's video is more island upgrades. I am trying to do whatever I can to fix soil problems up here. Uh, there's, you know, the water retention's a huge issue. I think if I can get that fixed, the average growth would be much better. So today, I'm bringing out the potting mix that's just left over from plants I don't have to worry about. And I'm simply broadcasting this over in the plot to help with water retention and to put some organic matter into the soil. So that way I can shave off a little bit of restoring time, not much, but some. But as long as I can help, especially like areas with loaded in rocks, any extra soil there is a gift. But still, the germination rates look good. But I'm just constantly trying to find ways to help this soil. It's got humic acid treatment in it. Now it's getting uh, some rotting organic matter thrown into the mix. Whatever I can do to soften this up and help it to stay softer for a longer period of time, that's exactly what I'm doing. This will help my future crop for spring and summer. I always try to think ahead on a lot of things so that way I'm prepared as much as possible for it. And I've already scattered some on the back half, so I'm just not going to show the whole process here, but it's pretty simple. Just getting it scattered about. And try to help this fall blend last longer or start stronger you take your pick it has had two rains on it now last night we got i don't know maybe a half inch of rain or a little more than that maybe go over here to the next area This over here is ground that's in poor shape as well. Very little organic matter that I find in here. So at least I'm putting something in here to get some things going. And for any seed that's sitting on top of the ground, I could cover some of that up a little bit and give it a better shot at germinating. So get out here. Move down to this end. I see buckwheat, see all kinds of different species up. It's a good sign, but as always, trying to give it more. Now this bag is not big enough to make a huge difference, but it will be a noticeable difference in how these plants respond, the color that they look like, it will help. Some form or fashion, this will help. And as long as I can keep this clay a little bit softer, that helps my chances of better roots and more nutrition. So we'll go down here. This in here actually looks pretty darn good. Uh, this one has some better organic matter in it, but I'm never satisfied, so it's going to get a little more. Everything's looking great. I'm not going to use this corner. This in here needs some.
especially in, in some ways I'm going to help this oak tree to some degree the better the soil gets the healthier these trees will get starting to get that nice earthy smell in here all right here's another spot uh, when I tend to do this if I find areas loaded with rocks like this section is throw extra in it you need as much soil to help counter all these rocks in here as you can anything and again this is anything that I can do to help this soil's health so I've got potting soil that just basically was going to go to waste and now I'm using it to my full potential here just based on trying to get the soil better over a little bit larger area so you can see i've pretty 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 good coating in right here there's still more seeds that are coming up and here's one if that rock hadn't have been removed it would be dead so these rocks are definitely hindering my pro my germination but you can't get all of these out unless you really want to pay a hefty toll as far as pricing to get it done so i'm just going to keep building soil and thicken it up and start burying rocks here's another area loaded with rocks especially in that big bright sunlight patch right there This, this little bag's covered a pretty good area. Not bad. And I'll go ahead and tell you, there's one thing up here that I have failed to mention while I have been working on the plot. I have failed to find any earthworms in the island. That's scary. You think that I would have found some, but no. Not a single worm. And hopefully that will change here. No wonder this ground sucks so bad. All right, so over here I've got just a little bit left here in the corner. Here's the area I did not till in an old stump hole. So let's try to do a little fill in work. And that will take off any plant growing in there will take off all right so one goal down and that is improving the soil try to stimulate this place put some bacteria in here if you wish to purchase mycorrhiza fungi i would recommend that in this type of soil it needs bacteria bad really bad i haven't found any on these roots they're all white roots so that's a big reason why i have to keep fertilizing so much in here i just don't have a good transfer agent so i'm going to have to keep loading the soil until i build that and hopefully there is some mycorrhiza in here i didn't really look on the back but i kind of doubt it so you're just getting tiny amounts of nitrogen put in here some valuable potash some phosphate very low percentages but it's going to help either way and i think this will help boost my plot help it to fill in quicker and we'll see how this goes now another tip that i recommend it depends on how you're using your feeding program for um, for your deer especially if you're doing 
feeding stations and you use let's say uh, horse feed which is what I've been using to help make these coats look fantastic and try to remove a few external parasites uh, that is also not being wasted so I'm basically doing the exact same thing that I did for this now due to our state laws all food has been removed from here so the feeding stations are cleaned up I don't have any what they consider bait food in here I want to follow the law so it has been cleaned up in here for the past 10 days 10 no 12 days even though 10 is your minimum I've done it for 12 so this is all cleaned up prepared for deer season uh, but I do throw in any wasted food into the island during this time of year only during the fall and then after deer season is over when we start setting food back out immediately anything that gets rained on goes to waste turns sour I will throw it back out into the island because it is full of trace minerals and I need that for this soil so badly so that will help spur faster returns and considering it's a 50 pound bag and it's only $10 it's a lot cheaper than fertilizer a lot cheaper all right guys uh video is now going to come to an end and the island is progressing germination is getting thicker and thicker and hopefully in the next two weeks or so this will start looking like a green fuzzy carpet you all have a great day